Hi, my name's Daniel Mason, and this is my novel, Northwoods. Northwoods is a story of a single house in the woods of New England and the various people that inhabit it over the course of 400 years, running from a pair of uh, Puritan lovers who escape a colony uh, up in through a painter, an uh, orchard builder, um, aficionado of crime magazines, a number of uh, non-human, whether supernatural, natural characters, all of who pass through as the house moves forward in time. So I'm here in Piccadilly Circus at the Waterstones to talk to you about three books that inspired Northwoods. And the first is uh, Henry David Thoreau's Walden. Of course, it's possible to write any book about New England natural history without being influenced by Walden. And what astonished me by Walden when I read it again to do research for this book was how alive the book feels. The um, images of the natural world are just extraordinary. And I was amazed by these vignettes. I last read the book decades ago, and I was amazed by vignettes that I'd forgotten over time. Um, in it, you'll encounter um, incredibly vivid images of you know, lakes being emptied of their water uh, in wintertime as ice is piled upon the shore. This great registry of the different birds that pass through, um, as well as all kinds of interesting human life that Thoreau encounters there. For my next pick, I'm going to choose the Malay Archipelago by Alfred Russell Wallace. And even though Northwoods is set in New England, um, very, very distant from the Malay Archipelago, uh, nevertheless, Wallace's vision of the world is something that has continued to inspire me ever since I read him, and it inspired one of the short stories in a collection of mine that was published a few years ago. He has a kind of ecstatic vision of nature. Everything is always filled with life, and he's astounded by the diversity of the creatures that he encountered in the woods while he's traveling. And this was always in the back of my mind as I was walking through the woods of New England um, thinking about the kind of characters that would end up in Northwoods. And so even though it's a different part of the world, the vision is very much something that inspired me. So for my third pick, uh, books that inspired Northwoods, I'd have to choose Isaac Asimov's Foundation. And actually, I would pick this and um, Bradbury's Martian Chronicles. And it, um, it seems like sort of a strange pick for me to choose this because my book never launches into the realm's space. But at the same time, I found both Asimov and, and Bradbury dealt with time in a way that I found fascinating, and their ability to leap forward generations and sort of leave the past behind puts people on a scale which is much smaller um, than the ones that I was normally encountering in fiction and made me think about writing a novel which crosses time and in which the plot works in a kind of intergenerational, uh, non-human way.